Hey everybody, I am uh, in a different location today. Uh, I needed a, kind of a, a bigger floor space um, to do some testing today. So, um, so where I'm at now, the wheel that I was working on in previous videos um, turned out really well, and um, and so now I need to do I need to do some like torque tests just to make sure that plastic will hold up to you know the strength of the motor and stuff so um so yeah i am um in a different spot where i have a bigger floor um and uh yeah we're gonna do some testing today so well, let me show you what i got going on okay so here is that wheel i was working on before it's turned out quite nicely um so we have our stainless steel cleats riveted on to the uh, the aluminum PLA printed rim and um, yeah and then I, I managed to figure out how to use uh, lacquer paint in the um, in the airbrush so I had to learn how to airbrush <laughs> um, so I left kind of the ridges in the print just to kind of give it that machined look so it's still there I think it works pretty well. Um, so what it is attached to is the steering system for Sojourner. This is a this is actually a gearbox gear reduction system, and then the motor is back here. Um, I didn't I didn't uh, really want to do something like that, I guess, because uh, the company that made the motors for Sojourner is still around, but a motor like this is about eight hundred dollars <laughs> through them, so uh, so I just three D printed the basic shape, and I put a little uh, a small motor in there that I use in my little rovers. Um, so it has like a sixteen RPM uh, gear reduction on this little motor that sits in there, and then it goes to um, to another gear system in here that actually spins this, um, and then this is a potentiometer so that the Arduino that's currently sitting here can read the position of where this is um, so we have uh, yeah the Arduino we have a nice uh, spark fun board that has uh, the XP shield on there it's a motor driver um, it's pretty cool all hooked up to a little battery and um, right now I'm just controlling it through the XB on my laptop. As you can see, there's another wheel here. Uh, it is not hooked up to a motor. It is just free spinning on a bearing. So let me swing around here. <clears throat> so as you can see, the, uh, the print is still pretty rough. I didn't want to do any finishing on any of this because I still need to kind of do some torque tests to make sure that um, nothing's going to break. So. I didn't bother painting it and stuff, but uh, but here's a nice motor from Pololu. Um, it it has a encoder in underneath this cap here, and so I can monitor the RPMs of this thing and uh, which direction it's going. So that all feeds into the Arduino as well, and uh, so I can monitor on the laptop what the RPMs currently are of the motor. Um, and then yeah, as you can see, there's no motor here. Just a, just a big bearing sitting in there. Um, so yeah, so let's uh, let's give this thing a roll, shall we? Currently, I have um, this uh, all controlled by just a nice little um, Bluetooth keyboard. So uh, that's feeding to my laptop, and um, and so in order to drive this thing, right now it's just a W <laughs> and enter. And off it goes. So this is actually faster than what Sojourner actually went. Just get that stop. Sojourner actually moved at 1 RPM. This is about 15 RPM. So we're actually moving a little bit faster than what Sojourner really went. Which I think is okay. I think uh, nobody really wants to sit and watch this thing slowly move across the floor. Um, so then 
For steering, uh, I would press J on the keyboard and uh, hit enter. And so it slowly turns to about, uh, about 45 degrees. Um, I haven't quite worked out the actual angle that it needs to be at. Um, I think once I get all six motors in, then I can figure out the actual angle. Uh, but yeah, then hitting L, we'll turn it back the other direction. It's nice and slow. Again, it's probably a little faster than what Sojourner went. Um, <laughs> this big wheel weighs about one pound, so um, I think almost two pounds now with uh, the bearing and that steering system on it. So I don't have to worry too much about it flipping over, <laughs> but you can see it, it did kind of like to tip. So so that that's the steering. Uh, again, you can drive again. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, so that's the steering, that's the driving. Um, I think right now, let's try climbing over something. I have these big blocks of silicone that uh, I think we can probably lay down and, and see if it can drive over. Uh, I'm still trying to protect the paint on the, the wheels, uh, the black cleats and, um, and that band that goes around the rim. Um, those are all painted, just like, uh, like Sojourners are I think probably anodized black, but uh, I didn't really have the ability to anodize, so uh, it's painted. And so the paint kind of comes off pretty easily. So right now I think I'm going to have to protect the paint until the whole thing's done and I can take a whole bunch of good pictures. So until then, we're going to be climbing over soft things that aren't going to take the paint off. Okay, silicone is in place. Let's give it a drive forward and see what happens. <laughs> no problem. Uh, I guess it would be nice if the rear wheel had a motor in it. But, uh, yeah, until then, I guess we're only going to climb with the front wheel. Cool. Let's try another piece of silicone. Okay, here's two pieces of silicone. No problem. Ooh, I like how smooth it goes back the other direction. <laughs> okay, here's three pieces of silicone. Uh, about is it halfway up the wheel now, so let's see if I can do it. Come on, there you go. Sweet. Let's try and go back. Uh-oh. I stalled it. Um, hmm, does that mean my battery is low? Uh, let me check. Okay, it is not low. 7.5 volts. Okay, so, um, since the battery is not dead, uh, that just means that, I guess there's, there's a couple things here, um, one, it's nice to see that I could stall the motor without breaking any plastic pieces along here. Um, two, <laughs> um, so I guess, like, this means that it can't lift itself. So I think all of this weighs, I think, a couple pounds, maybe two and a half, about two and a half pounds or so I have. All right, we're going to do the math right now. So, um, so what we were looking at in this drawing, so this is so far as far as I've gotten in my Sojourner drawing. Um, I've kind of roughed out the body. Suspension is pretty much all there. I think I just have to mirror it, put it over on the other side, and I will be mostly done there. Uh, the body, I really have no idea how I'm going to do that yet. But anyway, so what we're dealing with, is testing of this section right in here. This is the bogey system and um, and so we had this front wheel powered, this one just rolling on a bearing, 
And so what we have, um, it, it's, it's kind of goofy. It's like if, if you've ever asked the Internet um, how I would figure out how much torque I need to drive a robot or something like that, um, you're going to get like 15 engineers giving you like 18 different answers, and they're all going to be crazy, stupid formulas with a bunch of hypotheticals like uh, friction coefficient between the wheel and whatever surface you're on. Like, nobody's going to try and calculate that. Like, I don't know. I mean, maybe, <laughs> maybe NASA does that kind of stuff, but I certainly don't. Uh, and most engineers I know don't. <laughs> they, they, you know, it's, it's um, you know, especially if you're on rocks and then you're transferring to sand over to, uh, you know, concrete, whatever. So, like, you have to do this stupid math equation for all of this stuff. And, um, and it, it doesn't stop there. There's a whole bunch of other stuff. There's um, the efficiency of your motor, um, which is another hypothetical at, usually 90 i think 92 percent or something like that is your motor's efficiency rating so like i don't know it's it's a bunch of hypotheticals in this really long equation and um and so i never really wanted to do that <laughs> so um so what i what i really did was i found a motor that is pretty much the, the correct size so it fits in there it's basically the same size as sojourner's motor a little bit bigger um i found it on pololu's website um and it is a six volt motor two amps what i went with was kind of a slower uh rpm so i ended up with a 16 rpm and that has a stall torque of 350 ounce inches so what that means is the motor sit in here and we end up with a like a one inch we end up with a one inch long um, we'll just call this an arm and so from the end of this arm it should be able to lift 350 ounces um, so 350 ounces I think we can get that to a weight something that we are a little more familiar with with pounds over here in the US um, so that's like strapping almost a 22 pound weight to a one inch arm on this thing so um, so I know my rover is probably going to weigh about 23 pounds total. So, um, so I know that's probably plenty. Um, we have the actual arm length is more like two and a half. So we have a, yeah, a two and a half inch long arm here. Let me dimension that for you. Something like that. So two and a half inches. So what we can do is um, we can just do some math here. We'll go back to my calculator. And um, so we have 350 inch ounce or ounce inches. And then we can divide that by the two and a half inches that we have. So that gives us 140 ounce inches um, of torque on this thing. So 140, we can bring that to, uh, to this equation here, 140. So that's 8.75 pounds that we can actually move with this thing. Um, so I know the wheel plus the bearing that's in there always two pounds. Uh, adding some of this stuff, we could maybe round it up to three pounds. We have 8.75 that we can theoretically lift with this two and a half inch arm on this motor. So we have more than enough torque to lift all of this. So what we are actually seeing um, is a combination of some things. 
what we are actually seeing is this here stall current is 2 amps. So at 2 amps is where it finally stalls. On the the motor driver, the motor driver shield that I'm using from SparkFun, they have a rated limit of 1.2 amps per channel. So 1.2 practical limit is about 0.8 amps. So I was actually possibly kind of overdriving this thing. It was possibly being limited by the motor driver. Also, also another thing that kind of dawned on me was that we're in the in the scenario that we're seeing in the test this wheel didn't want to climb over the silicone um, and so actually what ended up happening was rather than climbing over the silicone we essentially made an arm that is about this long. This is uh, ten and a half inches. So this is ten and a half inches is actually what we ended up with in, the, in this case. Um, because say this this motor ba or this wheel basically stopped moving, and so essentially it was trying to lift all of this weight. So. It was trying to lift. Um, it was trying to lift that 350 ounce inches <laughs> with a 10 and a half inch arm. So what we can do is let's let's do the math on that. We'll see how we actually um, installed this thing. So uh, 350 ounce inches of torque. Divide that by 10 and a half inches. So that's 33.3 um, ounces that we could lift. Uh, so let's convert that back to weight. So oops, let's delete all of that. 33.3. .3. So that's two pounds. Two pounds is all we could lift with a 10 and a half inch arm on this thing. Um, so two pounds. I know for a fact <laughs> that the bearing in this wheel alone is one pound. The um, the plastic, since it is actually made out of uh, aluminum filled PLA, also is closer to a pound. So this basically stalled our motor right here. This two pound weight on the end of a two and a half inch arm or ten ten and a half inch arm. So that there is what caused this motor to stall. So the ten and a half inch arm combined with the um, the 1.2 amp stall current um, I believe is probably what caused this stall to happen. So there you have it. There's the math. Uh, no silly formulas. It's just simple, just simple torque um, and, and you know lever arms. So um, so that's all it is. And um, and so I still stand by this um, this motor. It is still going to give me more than enough torque. The 350 ounce inches of torque. Um, that should give me about uh, about eight pounds uh, eight pounds of, of torque on these wheels. So I am more than happy with that. Um, so I mean, if you think about it, uh, eight what was it, eight point seven five? I think it was. Um, so eight point seven five times uh, six wheels. So theoretically this rover could weigh 52 pounds <laughs> could theoretically weigh 52 pounds and pull itself up a wall theoretically that it would stall at that point so less than 50 pounds this thing could theoretically pull itself up a straight wall so um so i think we have plenty of torque here so 
anyway, let's get back to the video. And um, yeah, thanks for uh, doing the math with me here. That about does it for this test anyway. Um, let's actually head over to some carpet and make sure that I can turn on a high traction surface without breaking any plastic pieces. So let's go. All right, here we are uh, on some carpet. Um, got some sunlight coming in. Uh, I'm going to focus on this side because I assume if anything's going to break, it's going to be in here. But I, I really have a feeling it's probably going to be some of the small components inside this steering system here. Um, so we'll see. We'll see if this thing has enough torque. I have a feeling that if, uh, if nothing breaks here, it's probably going to slide this back wheel. Uh, left to right. So in that case, we'll probably have to, uh, I don't know, maybe put the silicone blocks next to it or something and keep it from moving. Um, but yeah, the whole goal of this is to kind of break it. So <laughs> I want to see where the failure point is. And um, so yeah, let's find out right now. Let's turn it towards the camera. Nice. Okay, let's go the other way. That is great to see <laughs> that it can turn on a high traction surface. Okay, that I'm impressed. <laughs> I am impressed. Um, okay then, I guess let's move to uh, maybe this other piece of carpet. Okay, so now we're on this other dirty old piece of carpet here. Um, slightly different texture, so let's see what happens if we try and turn on it. Wow, okay, <laughs> you could hear it struggling, but uh, it worked. Let's go back the other way. Oh, there we go, yeah, sliding that back wheel. <laughs> that's, that's an insane amount of torque, honestly. Uh, okay, I guess I'll straighten it back out. Okay, uh, well, I guess, I guess we're gonna have to put a, maybe a silicone block or something back there to keep it from rotating. Okay, um, let's see. So let's turn it to the left, so it should drag the wheel into the silicone. Here we go. I, I went the wrong way. <laughs> Here we go, back the other way. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's good. I I uh, was totally expecting something to break there, but it didn't. Let's straighten it out. Awesome. Okay. Uh, just make sure it still drives. Oh yeah. Sound like a cleat got caught in the carpet. Cool. Well, I guess that about concludes our test. Okay, so after that last test of driving over the silicone and kind of just 
dragging the back wheel over and really stretching the frame of this thing out, I did finally hear something crack. You can see it right, right in there, <laughs> behind this wire. And that little piece right there cracked. You can see a little separation back in here. So this piece twisted and cracked up here. I mean, honestly, it's pretty good. I, I don't know. I guess uh, I would have expected different. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, it's still holding on there. I mean, it's held on by a big quarter 20 screw. So, um, so it's, it's good and solid. But yeah, maybe something I'm going to have to consider uh, beefing up a little bit more. Uh, I'm not sure how. There's already, you can see a little pin right there so I have these little 16th inch diameter pins that um, that kind of help for steering so that these little posts here that are designed uh, you know on the Sojourner Rover those are actually there these little um, these little triangular pieces um, so I knew being that they're 3d printed they were not going to hold up so I put these little dowel pins in there for some support um but yeah so we finally got ourselves a broken broken piece there and this is why i didn't bother sanding and painting all of this because I, I knew eventually i was going to be breaking this piece so not too bad though i think that held up pretty well okay i guess that uh, concludes the test of uh of this system today um, yeah, so we managed to test the steering and that drive motor, just, uh, you know, making sure everything holds up, making sure the, uh, this aluminum filled PLA is strong enough to, uh, to handle some of the torques involved. Um, it's good to see that we managed to stall the drive motor. So now I kind of have an idea of the capabilities of this thing. Um, also managed to not stall the turning motor which uh, I am very impressed and um, I'm surprised nothing broke so the only time something actually kind of broke was um, by just driving this over something and kind of dragging this back unpowered wheel over it but um, you know it, it ended up stretching this whole frame out and eventually uh, that little piece in there kind of snapped it's still it's still holding but <laughs> obviously it's still there um, but yeah, it cracked, so uh, yeah, something I'm going to have to look into. You know, next time, like, you know, if that were to happen, you know, this um, this back wheel would be powered. Um, so I don't feel like it's going to stretch out like it, like it just did. Uh, there shouldn't be, unless maybe the, that back wheel hangs on a rock or something, uh, and then that front wheel tries pulling it along. Um, so, I mean, there are some cases out in the wild where, you know, it, it might stretch that, that frame out a little bit more. Um, so I might have to do a little bit of redesigning. Uh, I don't want to, you know, change the design too much because I'm trying to be as accurate as possible with this whole Sojourner project. So, um, so everything, you know, should be pretty much the same size and shape as what the NASA engineers developed a while back. So... Um, so yeah, we're going to do some, do some thinking on this and, uh, obviously we're going to be doing some more tests. So stay tuned. Okay. See you. Bye.